get sick, just the flu means we have to abort that mission. And you, you're surrounded by so many people, a lot of people are coughing, you know. So it takes, it requires a lot of discipline not getting sick. Then I didn't get much sleep all the other days. And you, you get up early in the morning, you get in that capsule, you have that delay. You sit in there trapped in your pressure suit. And it takes forever to go up. And then we have this drama with the face shield heating. And by the time when you up at 127,000 feet, you're already totally exhausted, you know? But this is the moment where it still starts. So you have to perform at a, at a certain level, at a 100% level. And this was tough, believe me. I've never anticipated it's gonna be so tough. Felix, can you describe the, the feeling when you're traveling at that speed? What was that like for you? And can you also describe, please, when you, when you seem to go into, at least it looked to us amateurs, kind of like a flat spin, or at least a spin of some sort. What was that like? Well, it started really good because my exit was perfect. I did exactly what I was supposed to do. And then I was falling over. This is what we anticipated because we had this on, on man one and man two. And it looked like for a second I'm going to tumble two more times and then I have it under control. But for some reason, that spin became so violent over all axes. And it was hard to know how to get out of that spin because if you're trapped in a pressure suit, normally as a skydiver, you can feel the air, so you get a direct feedback from the air. But here you're trapped in the suit, and the suit is pressurized for 3.5 psi, so you do not feel the air. It's like swimming without touching the water, and it's hard because every time when it turns you around, you have to figure out what to do. So I was sticking my arm out, then it became worse. So I was putting my arm out on the other side, then it became less. So I was fighting all the way down to regain control because I wanted to break the speed of sound. And I hit it. I don't know after how many seconds I could feel air was spilling up and then I hit it. Carlos Jorka with uh, the Associated Press. Could you describe the exact feeling of breaking the speed of sound? How, how does it feel? It's, it's hard to describe because I didn't feel it. You know, when you're in that pressure suit, you don't feel anything. It's like being in a cast, and it happened somehow down the line, you know, I don't know, we have to look at the data, what point, and was I still spinning or was already under control? We have to look at the data, but I didn't feel it at all. Because the thing is, if, if you want to judge speed, you need, you've got reference points that passing by, or you have a sound, or your suit is flapping. I have none of these signs, so you don't know how fast you travel.